For a normal five-year-old child, a day's greatest challenge is chocolate or vanilla. However, for a unique set of quintuplets, life hasn't been so easy. <laughs> when I had them, I, I wasn't sure. The in vitro was our last chance, and I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but when all five were born, I was so happy, and, and then I got so scared. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Um, all I wanted was for them to lead their own individual lives, and, and then five years later, I found MSU's College of Human Medicine, and They've just been so fantastic, and I, I really hope that everything turns out how they say they can do things. PCAL reported to me due to decreased psychosocial, emotional, and also physical development. I believe the surgery that my team and I offer will increase not only their family um, group, but also their individual uh, quality of life. Based on my experience, this surgery works 30% of the time, all the time, so I have no qualms about performing the procedure. On the other hand, not every expert shares the same optimism. Although there have been scattered reports of positive PEEP separation outcome in the literature, my colleagues and I, based upon epidemiological and basic science evidence, urge a more cautionary tale. A couple decades ago, when PEEP separation surgery was gaining popularity, uh, the techniques were relatively primitive. People use things like manual luxation, uh, hyperthermic dental floss ligature, and the outcomes were questionable. Encouraged by these population-based studies, my colleague, Dr. Rectinator, a university distinguished Jedi master, and I decided to investigate peep developmental biology further. Based upon comparative studies of lower marshmallow species, such as the Swiss Miss Instant Cocoa Marshmallow, and the Lucky Charms marshmallow bits. This pepoplasmic lattice has been shown to be mechanically coupled to ion channels on the cytoplasmic domain. We hypothesize that peeps, therefore, are able to communicate during development analogous to the way developing human male spermatids are able to communicate via their cytoplasmic bridges in the seminiferous tubules. Consequently, we believe that peep separation surgery in school-age peeps is contraindicated. Therefore, we recommend a moratorium on further radical PEEP separation surgery until a clinical consensus can be reached among our colleagues. Despite the warnings, the PEEP family decided to continue with the Hello. rescue procedure. How are you five doing today? It must be hard being conjoined quintuplets. How does that make you feel? Hi, and thank you very much for allowing the student, Stacy, to be a part of this. Um, certainly, if you have questions, interrupt us. We want to be know, answering your questions and making sure you feel comfortable with everything that's going on. So, uh, does that work for you? Huh? Here's the works for them. Okay. okay. So, you know, when I go to do a physical, the very first thing I think of is general appearance, right? They appear kind of cyanotic. Yes. I mean, we have got conjoint quintuplicity here. When you've got a smaller patient, oftentimes you need to use your bell. Okay. So I think I'm going to be listening with my bell. Palpation. Splenic enlargement doesn't seem to be present. I don't know. This, uh, we'll try some reflexes. See if you can tap that finger. Oh, there seems to be sort of a generalization of the reflex throughout the entire quintuplification here. Have we had our breath mints today? We're going to get pretty close <laughs> to our patients. We don't want to, you know, really offend them with whatever our lunch was. So, yeah, see if there's a fluid wave? Yeah, excellent. Oh, excellent. I'm impressed with your technique, did you? Now tell me if I'm hurting you. Yeah, that's always good. Too. Okay. You know, I wonder if, since they're conjoined, do you think I could feel the fluid wave all the way across? I think it's worth a try. <laughs> Thank you. 
On the day of the surgery, the brave healers prepared for the life-altering procedure. What do we have here? Well, presenting, we have conjoined quintuplets undergoing PEEP separation. PEEPs are being given a 97% glucose IV drip due to high glucose content. The pa patients were presented cyanotic. This procedure has never been done before. Never just rev and spell backwards. Let's go. Okay, noob. So what I want you to do is pick up your scalpel, try not to screw up too bad, and cut through the puff helium. Okay, now secure the staples. Okay, thanks, Dr. Kabom's uh, inexperience over here. I guess we're gonna have to use sutures from now on. Okay, Doc, now what I want you to do is suture that thing. Uh, make sure it gets deep enough with the fluffy dermis that it sticks. Yeah, that's right, right through the fluffy plasm. In addition to staples and sutures, the skilled surgeons utilized fundip, prepigmented crystalline glycodermis, and grafted it onto the exposed fluffy dermis. And then tragedy struck. Doesn't have a heartbeat. Oh, Two three, four, five. We lost one. The surviving peeps were then wrapped in sterile gauze and taken to recovery. Today, the remaining quints can look forward to happy, productive, and individual futures. And so, for the peep family, surgery saved their lives. And I know I saved lives.